welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Um, Rachel here, thanks for joining me. So for today's video, I am going to do um, another tutorial using um, a type of bag. Um, if you've got paper bags, you can use paper bags to do this. If you don't have paper bags, I'm making my own. So either way will work just fine. But just be aware the shape that we are making will be like a paper bag. Um, what I'm going to try and make is a bit of a cascade pocket, um, but I I want to add some flips in because obviously I'm working on the um, the, the thirty one day, uh, thirty one gratitude journal prompt uh, challenge, and I'm working on my I do apologise my video is two days late, um I'll explain a bit later why but I'm doing my page layer and I want to do um some cascade pockets but I'm going to use like I said the bag so. What I want us to make are, rather than the design that we used last week where we did the um, the box shape, so obviously you've got plenty of space inside those bags, um, it was really important for me doing this that the bag remains uh, quite slim because I'm going to be layering them. So this is the, the, um, this is the effect that I'm aiming for, just so you can see what I'm trying to explain when I say cascading. Um, and then here. Okay, so the idea is, is we're going to have three different size bags and they will sit on the page, but I didn't just want, um, you know, pockets to just, you know, plop things in because I thought, well, okay, but that's, I'm losing the page just by doing that, aren't I? So I thought, right, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to make them so that they open up. So then I'll have writing space on the inside here. I'll have writing space on the inside here. And then I'll have writing space. Oh, where's my flat gone? All right, these are just made out of, these are prototypes. <laughs> and then I'll still have the page underneath then if I should want to uh, journal under there. But um, again, it's a nice little hidden journaling spot because nobody would know it was there because this is how then we're gonna fix the bags to the page, okay? So first job first, let's make some bags. So what I've done, I've just done two quickly here just to show you, so obviously that's, um, that, you know showing what, how it works as a pocket um but this is so that's the the uh, basic pattern which is just so easy like i say if you've already got paper bags the shape great you're a step ahead you can use those um but i'm going to make my own because i want to use the kit pages um obviously because i'm using the kit for the journal um so what i've done is i've made them slightly bigger than they need to be so that i can add this flap in um, so what I've done with these book pages here is I've literally just torn some pages out of one of my scrappy books so that I can make the, the sizes and work out the sizes then with these that I want. And then I can use that then as a template for when I'm folding. So if you can see there, that one is the same size as that one. So I now know that this one needs to be a little bit smaller again. So let's get a piece of paper and we'll make a start. So if this is the middle one, I'm also just trying to think about layering my pages, what um, papers I want on the next and what I want on the front. So I think I'm going to use, I just want to check, this is good, yeah, that's going to be fine. I think I'm going to use this one for the um, the next page because I'll have the sunflowers then peeking underneath and I'll have this nice collage then and then I've got another one from the kit then I want to add on to the front. So I'm working on pocket two at the moment. So let me just grab a pen or something, or a pencil so I know which one's which. So that's number one, that's number two, and that's number three. That just keeps me organised. So we're working on pocket number two. So I start off by doing our usual thing. Obviously, at this point, if you do have anything in particular on the page that you're folding, an image, for example, I wanted to use the sunflower on this page here, and I wanted to keep these beautiful... Uh, floral image here that's on the, the top of the paper so i had to fold the page in a certain way um to achieve that um that's why my seam is not on the back it's actually by there and because the seam is right on the edge i've just literally added a bit of stitch in so that it doesn't pop open so you know don't feel that you've got to be limited by um where you have to fold so before i put the final fold in now i just want to make sure i've got the size right so that's the width that we're aiming for but before I fold the width, I need to remember I need the flap. So I'm going to be going slightly wider, aren't I? So that's the width that I'm aiming for there. Which means I need to make sure that the bag folds 
down like that. There we go. So that's the full width that we're going to need for the whole width of the paper bag. Now the next fold that I need to find out now is how um, how long I need it. Because obviously this is a slightly shorter one. It's important for what I'm doing that they're not all the same size. So I'm just going to use my template again because I know that these will fit perfectly on my page. Now obviously if you were make, doing a, load, a mass make load of these, you could just do some of different sizes to kind of suit and then fit that in with your project. Um, now, before I do anything else, am I happy with... Do you know, I think I actually prefer that side there. But that's going to be the fold. So that's the only thing you kind of want to think about is where you're going to be folding it, what you're going to be using. No, actually, that's okay because that colour goes quite nice with that. So that'll be my fold there. Yep, that's fine. So we're happy with that. That's the fold showing me how long I need the page to be. Now, I really don't need all of that on here to be just be stuck down. That's a waste because I could use this bit for collage in. So I'm going to make another fold now about, um, about an inch further down because this is what I'm going to use to make the flap. So you can see now there's two folds there. There's one showing me the actual size of the pocket and then the other one I'm going to just cut this off then because I don't actually need this bit. So, in fact, I'm going to actually tear it because um, obviously we want it to kind of look like a paper bag. So I don't want everything to be too neat on the edges. There we are, because they tend to have a bit of a serrated edge, don't they? Right, so that's the first bit. That's cutting this down to size. It's not too straight, but it doesn't matter. So the next thing we're going to do then is like similar to um, one of the styles that we use when we're making basic envelopes. I'm just going to take a notch, just make sure you can see your fold, I'm just going to take a little notch off there and then I'm going to take a little notch off right there, there we go and then I'm going to fold this bit back here, move that out of the way a minute, now we're going to cut off now this bit here and that bit there and I'm doing it before I glue the in the bag together because um, if you don't separate them there's a risk that you might actually cut to this bit and then you're going to have a flap that's not attached to anything which is going to make it rather useless isn't it so let's just cut that off for a minute I hope I'm explaining this well to you this morning and then that one there so again just making sure you can see your, your fold Yeah, that's all the bits that we don't need taken off. And then we should have a nice, neat little, yeah, lovely job. That's perfect. So let me just make sure now that that's all nice and straight. lovely okay so i'm just going to glue this bit here now these were misprints well i print when i printed them back to back i printed one in and then i don't know what it did but it did it all wrong so i ended up with the logo on one side and then the logo on the other side and i was going to cut more off where i started and then i thought nope you're going to be using the fold and you're going to see it anyway so don't waste the paper so that's why those bits of logo are on the edge of that page there Right, let's just get that glob of glue out there. Here we go. I'm just going to make sure I haven't stuck my pocket down inside. Because this oohoo tends to get everywhere, doesn't it? There we are. So that's the basic shape of your bag. Let that dry for a second. And while that's drying, I think we'll do um, the small one. Oh, we've still got in our heads what we're doing. Right, I would like to use, if possible, this image here. Is it big enough? Hmm. Okay, we may lose a little bit, but that's okay. So, that's the actual 
That's the size I need for this. If I bring it down a tad. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to fold here. <laughs> I can't see that top fold from here without sticking my head in the way. So I'm not going to do that. Because my roots need doing. <laughs> and you don't need to see that. Right, so that's that fold there. And then I want to keep this bit now because I'm going to want that to be... Um, um, my edge rather so I'm going to fold that under there like that and then I'm going to stick it down like that and then we need to look at the depth and the depth is well that's the thing I'm going to take a little bit off the top of that because I really want to make sure that all of this is in there um, I want to use the tear ruler on the top anyway to kind of, like I say, give it a bit more of a, a baggy edge. Oh, stay there. There we go. That's better. Right. So now I know the image I want is going to all fit inside. So let's fold that up there now. Obviously it's only an approximate. It doesn't matter. It's out slightly, you know. But it just gives me an idea of the actual size I'm going to need. And then it stops me over gluing. I can take the bottom bit off now and keep the rest of this um, paper for another, for another day. Right, so that's the size that we want. But that's the finished size, obviously. So I need to make sure now, before I cut it off, that I leave another inch now down. So I've got my shape, now I need to, I've done the fold for the actual pocket, now I need to know, I, I now I need to leave it enough room for a flap. So I'm going to leave another inch line there. There we go. So there's my flap, and then I'm going to just tear that off the bottom. Because we don't need it, and it's a waste. And if I fold that up into my bag, it's making the bag bulky again, isn't it? So we want to try and keep the... Um, paper down if we can okay so same thing again making the flap we are going to cut our little triangles off one there and one there and then just reinforce that fold there and we're going to cut mm -hmm. just double check now yeah, that's it. I don't need that in there. No. So I'm going to take off that bit there and the bit at the back. So just make sure you leave the flap in the right place because obviously if this is the front, I want the flap to go on the back. So I need the flap really to be hanging off the front piece. So let's just cut that there. And then cut that there. Okay. Move these pieces out of the way. And we fold it over. Perfect. Right. So let's just glue on that flap there. And then let's glue on there. me. There we go. So I'm just make sure now they... Right, there we go. So that's our second little bag made there now. So let me just put the lid on the glue because I'm going to end up putting my hand in it otherwise. Just tidy up. Clear the decks. Okay. So, number one. Number two. Yeah, that's the right size. And then number three. Right, now before I make any folds or put any stitching on there or anything, or oh, without, I haven't done, I haven't, I just want to take this slight edging off this. Now if you haven't got a tear ruler, you can do this by hand, it doesn't really matter, I just really wanted mine to feel like <clears throat> a paper bag would. 
you know, um, this style paper bag rather. And for some reason, my tea ruler never seems to take the first tea. There we go. Right, it just gives you that bit of an age, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna ink that up a minute. Because I know how much you love watching me ink. <laughs> Not, as I say. I am behind on this video. I was meant to have done this video on Saturday. I do apologise. I'm behind on the video because um, my youngest son has got COVID. So it's been a bit of a chaotic weekend. A, a panicky one. He's he's okay, thankfully. He's got a cough and he's got a headache, but nothing, um, no temperature. So he's doing really well at the minute. So thank you for the messages from everybody that I've had messages from. Really appreciate that. Um, the rest of us have had tests. We're all negative this morning. So just hope now that it stays that way. <laughs> We're just dealing with at the minute the, the, the utter confusion from all the different people we've had to speak to today about who's meant to be in work, who's not meant to be in work, are they meant to be in college, are they not meant to be in college. Nobody seems to know what's going on, which is a bit frustrating. But there we are. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Main thing is... We're all all right. And, uh, and the food shopping came yesterday, so <laughs> everything else I'm not really worried about. As long as, uh, as long as my son's well, that's the main thing. So they can all worry about their bureaucracy, can't they? And uh, when they want us, they can give us a shout. I don't know, it just gets so confusing. So many different rules. And I think it's even more confusing now, I think, because they've taken so many rules away and now nobody knows what they're meant to be doing, so... Even the school, when I rang this morning, didn't really seem sure on what policy was any longer, you know, just for informing and what have you. But there we go. Let's not uh, think about that too much. So, um, I think the more, the, the right size, sorry, that was a huge long pause and I was trying to think. <laughs> um, now we need to decide how we're going to lay them on the page and which side we're going to put the flaps on. So let me get the page a second now. That there is this one here. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to affix it to the page so that it'll open out like a flap. But from where I'm sitting, it'll be a pocket. But the great thing about these is you're going to have the pocket, whether it's open or closed, because the pocket is in the bag. Um, this is not a new idea by any means. I imagine thousands of people have done these things already. Um, it was just, I thought, what I thought of this morning, and I thought, right, I know, I'm sure I can do this. Let's do it this way. I was originally just going to stick them on top of each other, and then I thought, no, let's do something a little bit more complicated. So now I'm going to just add a flap now on this side here, so that when that fits on there, it can open up that way. So let's just do that next. I'm just going to literally take in about an inch and fold that into place there. So just make sure that's nice and flat. That's kind of our aim here. Um, and we just tuck that under there. There we go. I really, really, if I can, would like to try and get that sunflower to, there we are, peek out there, because that's why I use that page. This is out of the, um, out of Lando Arrows, half of the gratitude kit, uh, the Thanksgiving kit. And I love the sunflowers, they're just stunning. And then on the front, then I want this little girl. So I'm going to try and make sure then that my flap this side has her in it um, and that it opens out that way. So I'm just going to put a little fold on there. There we go. It's the most horrible weather here today as well. Autumn is here in full force. The fire's lit. <laughs> Goodness, we had wood. But it's really not nice. It's windy and wet out there now as well. Um, and it's, it's, it's real bad fog this morning. Now, this one, I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put that below that one there. So that I can go opening up there. Then I can open that one up there, and then I can open that one up there, and then we've got full access then 
to the page to write on. That's the plan, isn't it? Sounds good to me. Okay, so I hope you kind of got all of that. Um, like I say, really, really simple idea, really simple um, thing that you can do. If you have got your own paper bags, obviously you can do this just using uh, paper bags. And obviously I don't mean the uh, the type we used in the last three videos with the um, <laughs> the hinge at the bottom. I don't know how to describe it. Um, these are flat paper bags. So this is like when you go to uh, on holiday and you buy rock in the shop and they give you a stripy paper bag. These are the paper bags that we've made this morning because um, they're nice and fit, uh, thin and they sit flat against the page. Um, so again, I just added these folds in so that I can use them as hinges um, and then they will open and close and give me an area underneath. So I'm just going to go and grab a few supplies and then I'm going to come back then and we're going to decorate and um, I'm going to do my page layout because it's my day. Well, it was my day two days ago. I'm so sorry I'm late with um, to do my prompt so you can see then what I'm going to do with that. So it won't be two minutes and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so let's get these pockets fixed onto the page. I was going to um, decorate them beforehand but I think I'm going to just stick it in onto the page first because I might end up then otherwise doing bits that I'm not going to see or that we're not going to need. So let's get that on there first. So that's the first flap stuck into place. Right, I changed up the pocket. I did have this pink one. I don't like it. I'm going to use this one. Not that I don't like it, sorry. That's a very bad thing. I love it. This is my favourite page, but not with the orange. The pink was annoying my eye. So I'm going to go with the plain. Um, and not only that, but this one is slightly narrower, so I can see more of my beautiful sunflowers, which was kind of my intention. Um, and then we will place this one then further down. Ah, I just realised what I've just forgotten to do. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I love Fabri-Tac because it just doesn't take too long to drive, but there's always a minute's grace. Right, okay. I want to fix this underneath this one. Um, no, that'll be fine. Right, let me just quickly do that. I'm going to end for the other one dries. Sorry, that was me not thinking straight then. <laughs> A bit of a, a tired brain today. It was um, a lot to think about yesterday. All of a sudden, panic stations, and it's funny, isn't it? You you prepare yourself for all that time in case something happens, and it doesn't happen. And then everybody else starts to relax about it because it's already happened to most people. And then it's like, I just didn't know what we were supposed to do yesterday. Didn't know what to do. But um. Today, so that's good. Right, there we are. So, what I've done is I've glued down the first number one and number three, but I've done mine together. So, we will then have this one, then that's going to add a little bit of shape to the page, if that makes sense. There we go. And just add that right by there, I think. Yes, I'm happy with that. Okay. Get a little bit of glue on me. Oh, I'm going to move that now. I know I'm going to forget where I was meant to glue it. I just feel it in my bones. Okay. Please be the right place now. Of course, the other option that you could do, especially if I suppose you're using a, a TN uh, journal, where sometimes you have a little bit less space on the pages, to not be afraid to have the flap as part of your hinge. Because what I could have done is, if that flap on that bag had been wider, I could have tucked it underneath. Because obviously I've got this lovely stretchy elastic binding, which gives me lots of play then within. I could have put the flap around the other side. And I mean, if you are working with very large bags, you could engage it as a as a, a pocket of this type on one side of the page and then on the other side then um 
you know, have what's left over coming out. You could put perhaps a skinny tag in it or something, or if it's a big one, have a secondary pocket. You know, so there's lots of things you can do. I still like love like the bags because they're just so versatile. We just got to not be afraid to think at the box, haven't we? Here we go. So now you can see what I was trying to explain, probably not very well earlier on. I do hope all that's in frame now. So what I'm going to aim to do now is I'm going to put some of this um, page here. This is uh, out of um, my Thanksgiving kit. I want to put this bit here. It's got this graph paper on the back, which I think is quite nice if you want to write on it. Um, and I just want that to kind of cover over then these, um, these little flaps here. So I'm just going to do a couple of folds a second. So that's okay. Let's just make sure I'm lined up there and I'm lined up there. There we are. It's better than all that green, isn't it? Looks interesting now when we flap the pages open. There we go. A little bit poking out there, but that's alright. I'm not too worried about that. There we are. So from a structure purpose, I'm happy with that now. Now what we could do now is I haven't actually had a chance to have a play with the pockets on the kit. So I'm going to get some of those out. I'm just going to cut my word out a minute. So I kind of remember what my... Um... Oh, and that word there before is the one I want as well. Because my word prompt for today is praise. Now this is prompt number 15. Am I right in saying 15? Now where's the sheet? Because I keep getting it wrong. No, it's 16. 16 was my prompt. I keep thinking I was doing 15. I've already said I wasn't doing 15. Guys, I'm losing the plot. Right, 16. It's two days late, because it's 18th today, but 16, and it was praised. And my subject for writing about praise is being thankful. It's funny. Talk about irony. Um... As soon as I put this challenge together at the beginning, or at the end of last month, beginning of this month, I kind of just knew. <laughs> I thought the minute you start talking about having, you know, in everything, give thanks, having gratitude, um, you know, you're going to get tested on it, aren't you? So <laughs> I just had a funny feeling and I thought, I'm putting my neck out here now, but it's, it's going to be a couple of tests come along this month. Things are going to be a bit trying see how she handles it kind of thing. so <laughs> i'm gonna go with being thankful and we're gonna have the number 16 on there today because i haven't actually used these numbers yet oh dear pups are awake i hear them fighting in there already that must mean it's nearly lunchtime so i need to be quick now and finish this and of course they can't go out and run around and play outside today like they normally do because it's raining and otherwise they'd be really smelly so that's our wood that's our intention, as perhaps somebody might say, or our prompt, or... And then this is to remind me how we give praise. Give praise by being thankful. So I'm going to write on the back of my tags today the things that I am thankful and grateful for. Okay, so that's going to go up there. Oh, and I better ink me 16 before I lose that again and forget what the day it was. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Right. Now, pockets. I mentioned pockets, didn't I? So we've got those type there. I've also got this type here. Um, oh, let me do my cards. Right. I'm thinking we could put a little pocket on the back of these, you see, and then we've got more pockets then. Oh, so many pockets. I think that one there might go quite nicely. I like that because I love that with the um the red flower. So right, quickly cut this a second. And I'm thinking we can put that on there. 
Yeah. Definitely, let's just do it. Because you know I'm like, I'm overthinking everything and everything's going to end up taking forever. Come on, Gloop. Need you on form. Got lots to do. Right, and then I'm gonna put one of these on the back of here, and I think I'm gonna put that one up. I keep getting that in my um, daily prompts. I've had it four times last week, and I thought I only had three email subscriptions, but four emails I had last week kept giving me this one. So I'm gonna put this one in. Definitely last week's thought for the week, I think I'm going to say. There we go. Oh, no, no, now. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of stitching around that. And then we're going to just add that in there then. And we have a little tuck in there. So we'll have a tuck there. But like I say, I want to stitch around that. And then this one here... Ooh, what can we do on the back of this one? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add one of my lovely journaling cards. So that one's all linked up ready. And I'm going to pop that on there. No, I'm not going to stick that down though. Because if I stick it down, I'm not going to be able to write on it. Because I want to make lean on I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little... Didn't I have a bit left over, a flap? What do I do with that? Hmm, that's too big. Um... Let me just think now. Oi, no, ah, uh, ah, uh, behave. How about this, yeah? Right, so if I double it over, so it's nice and thick. <laughs> you can tell we're doing page layouts, because when you start the college in collage and even and page layouts, there's just suddenly bits of paper everywhere, and usually <laughs> glue with the lid off ends up with paper stuck all over it. So I've just stitched around the edge of that. I've added a bit of washi over the bottom of that flap there just so that it doesn't catch when I'm putting the um, journal card in and out of the tuck. Because obviously there's a flap on the back of that from the bag. So I'm just going to... Oh, oh my God, I was just going to say I've inked, but I have. I don't know what I'm doing. Nothing new there then. There we go. That's just a little bit of scrap then from that page over there. And then that will then sit in there. So I'm going to resist the urge to leave it in there in a minute because it's bound otherwise to get stuck on the glue, isn't it? So let's leave that there for a second. Um, that's okay there. That's okay there. I'm going to get a tag ready for that now. I wonder if that's the right size. Yeah, okay. And then... We close that one up there and close that up there. Now we could put another pocket on the front of here. Um, I wonder if those size ones will fit. Yes, but I'm going to do something slightly different, I think, with this one. Actually, I might use... Oh, that was too big. Um, I've got them in two sizes. Oh, I know. I know. I'm going to use one of these. I think that'll go quite nicely on there. Remove that then from the other flap. Oop. Did I move that piece of paper I just shipped onto the floor? Goodness knows. Right, so that's that on there. That's there. I was going to put that on there, wasn't I? So... Put that one on next. There we go. Put that down to place. Right by there. Ah, oh, this is amazing. This page is going to have so many little tucks and pockets and yeah, fab. Okay, so we've got tag, tuck there, pocket there. No, it's all wrong. That goes like that. I want to leave that, I think, for writing space. I can't decide. Hmm. 
and I think we need some nice, um, going to need some fabric on the front of this page here. And I'm thinking a bit of trim down the side of there would be quite nice. Now, somebody, oh, I know it is. Go. That's my page layout done for um, my word prompt, which is two days late uh, for praise. So I've just um, used the bags. I've made little flippy pockets. I put a little bit of um, an embellishment on there to make an extra tuck there. Um, in this pocket here, then we've got a journal card, and I've just tried to make it all feel really autumnal. And then in this one here, I've used another one of those tags, and I've made a little ruffle with some. Um, Mm, I don't know, how's that tool? Oi, oi, oi. Sorry, doggies. <laughs> uh, tag there into that tag pocket. Oh, and then there's the large pocket that has the other tag in there as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then there's got a little pocket on the back of this one with another tag in. And then inside, oh, and then we have a tag up here. Again, and I've just used lots of different um, verses and praises, um, uh, hymns lines that I feel give praise and then in here I put a little tuck on the back so I can put my postcard and then I've got a nice space to write on so I can sit and do some journaling in my journal later on so there we go nice and easy and you can do that with if like say you've got bags if you haven't you've now seen how to do them hope you enjoyed the video um and I will be back with you very soon take care now bye